So again, I'm still playing with Mead and Paint. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That is some dioxazine purple. I have covered my edges. I'm probably going to use some Mead and White with my regular recipe and a little bit of distilled water added to the center in a minute after I spread this up as best I can. I think I'm going to use some black. I really want to use some, I really would like to just do the purple, but I think I, I would like black also. And depending on how the first stage goes, it may turn into something else, which is always par for the course with me anyway. I have my spatulas I can use for swipe swipe tools, or I have my new pie cutters, cake, cake cutters. I don't really want a hard edge there, but I want to make sure I have enough paint. I could have pre-primed this canvas. I'm going to leave this right here and put my maiden paint down in the center. I might even contemplate, do I have a nice acetate sheet? I have a couple. I have a nice long one. Whoop! That's not part of the plan. Okay, so that would work in the center. Fortunately, my spatula was handy. I'm going to grab a, what, a Princeton Archer Kettle spatula? No, I'm going to grab a regular palette knife. And spread my paint a little. I'm constantly interested as an experiment with this new new paint brand that sells like crazy to see how little of it I can get away with. So this is a slightly thinner layer than the last time I did a swipe like this. I'll let some of it go right over the edge. And throw that in the bucket. My bucket is full of water. Okay, I've got black. I wanted to just do black, but it occurred to me that it might be nice to change it up. And this is a, that's just um, my regular black, which is Artist Loft mixed with Onyx latex house paint semi gloss from Walmart. So, you know what? This other card might not be such a bad idea. So let's try it. Yeah, nice cells. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to offset this. Do I really want to do that? <laughs> Maybe I just want to go down the line for right now. Huh, that's interesting. I'm leaving some of that black line on the top, which means I may or may not do something with it. But the reason I cut this card to begin with the way it is, was to make a more organic leave behind. Could I get away with magenta? I wonder, could I get away with, yes. That is the Hot Orchid from, it's a Prism Pour Hot Orchid from Color Art. And I have that white and I want to know, do I want more gold? Yes. As long as my base layer of purple is wet or somewhat damp, I should be okay. I'm going to break up those hard lines. best I can. Kind of thinking smaller swipe cards are less dangerous. And more reliable. But I kind of like the mistake that where it doesn't press. I'm not sure I'd be look, going out of my way to do it again that exact way. Make better contact. Press my card in better. So that's kind of cool. So this is 91,007 
700 of you guys, and um, I don't think I need to do much. I could. I could, but I think I should not. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I like that. I, all kinds of things go through my head about stuff that I could do. But I like the unevenness down the center. I love the cells popping through. And a torch to release the bubbles caught in the paints. So a really short video. Oh well, never mind. The maiden paint is on my Amazon link in all colors. It's about half gallon. It's the best investment I have ever made. Thank you, Gail Burston, for doing a comparison video. I should probably try and link that. If it's not linked, forgive me. Just check on Gail Burston's YouTube channel and you'll see something of interest, I'm sure. Didn't like that little white spot. Not as sure about these little anomalous marks. But you know what? In order to fix that, I'm going to need a kind of tiny little swipe card. I think I just want them to blend in a little bit more. Yes, that's a heart. It's right around Valentine's Day. It's going to be that way very shortly. Let's just make sure those... Oh, those cells are so pretty. I do not want to go all the way down there. But I, I think I can press that in and I feel too bad about it. There, I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for all the wonderful comments that you keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that. I'm going to throw a little more of that pink right in there so it matches a little bit better with everything else. Blow it around. If you don't tell, I won't tell. I need my little swipe card though. I just put it down. Well, there's another one. I guess that'll have to do for right now. Just blend it in a little bit more. Fake it out. Okay, so what should I tell you? I have Teespring clothing below the video and I can add almost any design to that for all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. If you're looking for my uh, looking for any merch with my designs on them or to request my designs on merch, check my pixels.com Fine Art America. That is underneath the link tree. This one doesn't have cells and it needs to be dealt with. I'm going to find another round top piece. That's not really very round. Okay, so one anomalous red mark. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. But it's par for the course with me, and I still I still like it, so we're all good. And we immediately have tons of cells. Makes me want to do more. Oh boy. Stop yourself, stop yourself. Maybe I can't. Which side was it? It was right there. I kind of like that. Not the, not as it's getting mucky, but before that. That's what happens when I have too much time on my hands. I get creative. Okay, take the muck off. Because I will tend to use... Yes, I like it better. I'm losing some really cute cells, but I like it better. Let's try it with just a little bit of this right on the card so I don't have to pull it down. I really like that. I'm so glad I didn't mess it up. I'm going to do that right there so I can keep my cute little purple cells. There. That's some. Um, that's different. I'm going to use the residuals on my card right over there. Everything will match. Look at those cells. That is pretty cute. I like it. Ah, I get excited every time I play with this paint. I want to do this with the uh, Venetian Blue next. So back to the, the crib sheets at hand, which is please, 
Please, would you, if you wouldn't mind, please can I have a thumbs up. It, when you like my videos, you help my standing on YouTube. Same as when you share my videos, it's a huge assistance to me. If you watch them longer and the commercials, both of those things help me pay for art supplies eventually, somehow, some way, someday, maybe. Um, if you watch when the notifications come out, that's also a wonderful thing. If you need links to anything, I have over 1,800 videos, and you can find them on Created Playlists, All Playlists, on my YouTube channel, where you can also find my YouTube store. And tomorrow's video um, posted on the community board, and my Amazon link, and all kinds of other links are on the link tree right below the video. It might be below Show More. If you shop my Amazon link, it helps me buy art supplies eventually. At no added cost to you. Um, on the link tree, our Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, a Facebook group for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors for checking out the albums of edited YouTube wet dry artworks, and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More has a link to shop now, pixels.com and Fine Art America. If you guys are interested in the class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, use the email address to inquire below the link tree. Also, I do sell my artwork. Ooh, I should zoom in on that. Wow. I should really zoom in on that. There are some great cells in there. I am so far from done playing with this paint. I can only tell you I'm excited and I stay excited and every time I think about coming to play with it I get more excited all over again. So that reminds me of a batik or a tie-dye or something. But um, Hey, so I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Um, if you are looking to make a donation to help keep the video, keep the videos rolling, help keep uh, the studio making videos, tutorials, then look for the end screen video on the end screen of any, in the last 20 seconds of any video. I'm not too articulate right now, but there it will show you that exhibition video will show you that month's prizes. I do a drawing at the end of every month. The usual multiple paintings to be uh, to be picked through, and uh, there's first and second places in both January and February. I'm not sure about March, because <laughs> shipping ain't cheap. Um, talk to me. If you, need, if you have a question, ask me questions. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And thank you for everything. Thank you for all the donations that help keep me painting all this time. I love you guys. More than, you can, more than you'll ever know. Bye for now. Priscilla out.